Hi, I'm Brent Pepper, and uh, I'm going to do a little overview of the Polaris Ranger 700 XP. Mine is a 2006 model. It has about 110 hours on it. Uh, so far, I've been really pleased with this one. Two-cylinder engine. It'll run out about 44 miles an hour. I believe Polaris rates it at 40 horsepower. Since I've had it, I have added uh, the brush guard and headlight guards, a worn 4.0 winch, it's a uh, 4,000 pound pull winch. Uh, I added these uh, driving lights to it, the uh, poly top from Polaris, and I added the power dump for the bed, which we'll demonstrate later. Also, I added uh, 27 inch 589 tires from ITP along with the ITP uh, I think these are the type C wheels, aluminum wheels. Originally on the Ranger were 26 inch knobby trail tires. They done okay, but uh, as you can see from the tread on these 589s, they're almost like a tractor tire. They've got a good cleat for uh, mud and snow. I don't see much snow around here though. Uh, another thing that I added was uh, from Vapor or Trail Tech, rather, their Vapor computer, which the Vapor computer is basically a speedometer. Uh, it will also tell engine RPMs, give you the time, your mileage, or your distance odometer. Uh, it has uh, engine temperature, which I don't have hooked up right now. Okay, uh, I had this vehicle narrowed down, well, when I was looking for a UTV, I had it narrowed down between the Ranger and the Kubota RTV. I liked the Kubota because it seemed like it was pretty well built, pretty heavy built vehicle for some hard work. Uh, the Polaris, I liked it because I do a lot of woods riding and trail riding and it seemed more trail friendly. Um, of course, the Polaris did have engine speed or ground speed advantage over the Kubota. Uh, things that I like so far about the Polaris, it does have an exceptionally smooth ride, uh, four-wheel independent suspension, uh, the speed's good, so far the power's been good, it's pulled everything that I've tried pulling with it. Uh, I have gotten stuck a couple times, got in some deep ruts and uh, pretty much bottomed out the belly to where my tires weren't touching the ground had to winch out. The worn 4,000 pound winch done great. Uh, the Polaris does have a lot of storage compartments on it. Uh, it has a sealed glove box. Under the driver's side, got a pretty large compartment right here. It's got a uh, foam seal around it, but as you can tell, maybe it's kind of dirty in there. It does get water. It's got a drain plug in it. I will sometimes throw a toe strap in there, but that's about all I trust it with. Okay. Uh, got some underhood storage here. So, get that. And that's the only thing about adding the uh, front brush guard is getting under the hood takes a little time. All right. Now this is under the hood of the Ranger. More storage area. Now this area is pretty dry. Uh, as many times as I've went through the water, splashed up, I have never opened this up and found any trace of moisture in here. Now from what I understand, this uh, box that snaps in, as you can see, the little plug there. From what I understand, those do not come with the new Rangers. Uh, I think it's great. I keep in here a tool kit, a small set of jumper cables, a little uh, DC shop light that clips on to the battery, and I keep small air compressor, slime, electrical tape, and a plug kit for the tires. Uh, 
overall I am pretty pleased with the Ranger uh, things that I haven't been pleased with and uh, pretty much all Ranger owners know about this and that is this parking brake. it is weak uh, mine is pretty much worn out uh, I think the pads that came with it were originally thin um, there is a fix for it if you look around the internet long enough some of the discussion forums you'll find how to fix that and I just haven't done it yet uh, another weakness in my mind were the uh, factory headlights they look good they look like they would put out a lot of light but they are weak um, so what I done is went to Walmart and bought a $20 set of halogen driving lights and they really blow away the factory lights that came on it but that is it in a nutshell for the Ranger walk around portion of this video now what I'm going to do with the assistance of my daughter is put it through a little few paces around here I'm sure some of you guys have deeper watered steeper hills to climb and maybe some gooier mud but uh, I'm going to show you how I drive it and how it performs around here